Greetings fellow audiophiles and music lovers. You found yourself tuned into the Eden Audio YouTube channel. My name's Adam and I'm the host of this channel. And what we do here is show to you some of the products that we stock here at Eden Audio. And what we also do is play some of the music from the 80s decade. The reason for this is because that was when I was a youth and it holds great memories for me, the music from that decade. There's so many fantastic, fabulous tracks that came out. And what I'm doing here now is playing to you some of my record collection that I collected while I was a youth and going through them slowly. And as I say, I'm playing to you some of my favourite tracks. And one of the artists that I feel personally was probably a little bit underestimated of just how good he was, and that is Thomas Dolby. Now, you might be asking yourself, is Thomas Dolby his real name? And that is a very good question. And the answer is yes and no. The reason why I can say yes is because his actual name was Thomas. As you probably would have guessed, his surname isn't actually Dolby. This was a nickname he was given while at school by his friends because he was always playing around with sort of synthesizers and gadgets. So they decided to call him Dolby. So that is how Thomas Dolby became Thomas Dolby. He was actually born on the 14th of October in 1958. As I say, personally, I feel he was extremely underestimated of how good he was. And to back that up, I really do strongly suggest to you is that you, if you can, try and check out some of his um, older albums. For example, his albums are, in 1982, he released The Golden Age of Wireless. In 1984, he released The Flat Earth. In 1988, he released Aliens Ate My Buick. In 1992, he released Astronauts and Heretics. And in the year 2011, he released A Map of the Floating Earth. These albums, I wouldn't say, were particularly successful because they, in the UK, the, guy, the Golden Age of Wireless only, really, only reached number 65. The Flat Earth was his most successful album and that re and that reached number 14 aliens ate my buick reached number 30 astronauts and heretics reached number 35 and the map of the floating city only reached number 171 so you can see that he wasn't massively successful however go and, and listen to his albums and you will discover just how talented Thomas Dolby was. He really was a musical genius. And the track I'm going to play for you today is probably a track that we all know. He released probably two famous singles. One was She Blinded Me With Science, sorry, in 1982. Then a couple of years later, he released the track I'm going to play for you now, which is called Hyperactive. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the absolutely fantastic intro of this song. Take it away, Thomas. <laughs>